Hello students, welcome to the class of TYVCOM Advanced Accounting. In this pandemic situation arise due to COVID-19, we are not able to enjoy our regular method of teaching learning. But thanks to modern communication technology, we will be able to continue our education process. Myself, YK Choudhury, Assistant Professor from Department of Commerce, KTSM College, Nasik. I am going to teach you in this video lecture what is mean by fire insurance claim and introduction of insurance claim as well as step to calculate claim by loss of stock method. So we will learn these three things in this video. So at first I tell you what is mean by insurance. Insurance means an agreement by which a company undertaken to provide a guarantee of compensation for specified loss or damage. There are two parties, one is insured and another one is insurer. Now who is insured and who is insurer? Now insurer is the party who provide a guarantee a compensation for specified loss or damage to insured okay and now in return the insured pay to insurer a premium a fixed amount of premium every year okay now we will see here how many types of insurance there are mainly two types of insurance that is life insurance and general insurance. So life insurance is a fully government owned life insurance corporation of India having been established from 1st September 1956 by an act of parliament. And second one general insurance. General insurance is a briefly abbreviation is GIC of India in general insurance corporation of India. It was incorporated on 22 November 1972 under Companies Act 1956. So, under general insurance excluded LIC all insurance covered that is fire insurance, health insurance, health insurance popularly known as mediclaim, car insurance uh, in that two-wheeler, three-wheeler, four-wheeler uh, vehicles uh, is covered in car insurance, business insurance, travel insurance, marine insurance. This is the types of general insurance. In our syllabus only covered fire insurance claim. So let us know about what is fire insurance. Remember this only by fire because in this chapter we will learning about fire insurance claim. Okay. A fire at a business place destroyed asset such as building, machinery, furniture, stock, etc. It destroys record also. Not only does it destroy the assets, but also creates dislocation in the visual working of a business concern. Hence, a prudent businessman prefer to take out an insurance policy to cover the risk of loss due to fire. In case of happening of an event, the businessman get compensation equal to the amount of loss sustained. For this purpose, he has to lodge a claim for loss of stock with the insurance company. It is easy to claim for loss of asset except stock. In case of stock, the insured has to decide the stock on date of fire, that is SOFD. It becomes difficult to decide. The claim when there is no proper record of inventory is left due to loss of documents due to fire. When the stock and fixed asset such as example that is furniture, plant and machinery etc. destroyed by fire because we are learning fire insurance claim. Okay, Then the company has to file a claim with the insurance company showing the loss of stock or fix a set so that they can claim the amount. 
now we will going to see fire insurance claim process business enterprises get insured against the loss of stock on the happening of certain events such as a fire flood theft earthquake etc insurance being a contract of indemnity the claim for loss is is restricted to the actual loss of assets sometime an enterprise also get itself insured against consequential loss of profit due to decreased turnover increased expenses etc if loss consequential to the loss of stock is also insured the policy is known as loss of profit or consequential loss policy insurance claim can be studied under two parts as under claim for loss of stock and claim for loss of profit so now we will see policies to cover different losses so main there are two policies first one is loss of stock by fire remember this only by fire because in this chapter we will learning about fire insurance claim okay and second policy will be loss of profit by fire if loss consequential to the loss of stock is also insured so the policy is known as loss of profit or consequential loss policy <clears throat> now we are going to see claim for loss of stock by fire so once the stock was destroyed by fire the value of stock should be estimated number one point estimation of stock on date of fire so that the claim has to be presented to the insurance company so the there are certain steps to be followed such as uh, prepare trading account and find out gross profit what we will find here usually gross profit then we have ascertained the gp ratio it is also known as gp rate means gross profit ratio then we have to prepare to memorandum trading account this account is prepared to find closing stock on the date of fire and the next step is to calculate actual loss of stock and the final step find the amount of claim under average clause now this average clause i will explain it will later while doing examples okay so the first we will prepare trading account that is to find gross profit then second to calculate gross profit rate and <coughs> thirdly we will prepare memorandum trading account to find out closing stock then we will prepare statement to calculate actual loss of stock <coughs> under average clause which is very easy so this is the five steps uh, calculate claim by loss of stock method now we will see here uh, all five steps uh in details one by one so step first prepare trading account to find out gross profit so this is the pro forma of uh, last year trading account uh, on the debit side and credit side for the year ended uh, this date we have given in the problem on the debit side to open stock to purchases to direct expenses if any given in the problem and the other one, uh side means credit side buy sales and closing stock we have given in the problem and with the help of this given data we calculate the balance figure to gross profit so one important note remember here if current year opening stock and gross profit ratio given in the problem then no required to prepare trading account for the last year this is the last year trading account uh, this thing you remember very well in your 
mind. After find out the gross profit, we move forward. Step two: ascertain the gross profit ratio on sales with the help of following formula. Gross profit ratio is equal to gross profit upon net sale into hundred. This step, which is very easy. Now, after preparing trading account and finding the gross profit, then finding the gross profit raise, we will open memorandum trading account. Okay, and this account is prepared to find out the closing stock on the date of fire. Remember, on the date of fire. Okay, so to find out the closing stock, we already need gross profit that we will find by gross profit rate okay so first we will take to opening stock as second trading account closing stock to purchases given in the problem to direct expenses if, if given in the problem and buy sales given in the problem and on that we calculate to gross profit calculate on sales using GP ratio. Here sales amount into GP ratio in percentage and the balancing figure by stock on the date of fire. And this is the pro forma of memorandum trading account. Memorandum trading account uh, by collecting figures in respect of opening stock purchases, direct expenses, and sales from the period. This is the period from to up to the date of fire. Now prepare statement of calculation of actual loss of stock. This is step 4. Closing stock on the date of fire. This closing stock we found in the memorandum trading account. Okay. So the amount was then we will subtract the amount stock salvage. So what is mean by salvage? So what does this salvage mean? Salvage is nothing but the amount of stock there was saved from the fire. Okay. Is this simple term? Then we will find the actual loss of stock amount after adding the firefighting expenses if any given in the problem. Step 5 find the amount of claim. So, what does this mean? It means that on that day there was worth rupees. How much worth rupees stock? burn that stock on the date of fire before that uh, we noted here two notes first one is if policy amount not given in the problem then loss of stock is equal to claim amount and if policy amount is lower than stock on date of fire the average clause applicable that is policy amount is less than stock on the date of fire then average clause applicable and that time we have used the simple formula calculate claim amount that is claim is equal to loss of stock into amount of policy upon stock on the date of fire so this is the uh, total five steps oh, we calculate loss of stock by claim And we take a quick revision here. So before saying thank you, uh, we take here quick revision. So first we take prepared trading account. Okay, find the gross profit. Then finding gross profit rate in percentage with the help of uh, very simple formula gross profit rate is equal to gross profit upon net sale into 100 
Next, we prepared trading account. Find the amount closing stock on the date of fire. After preparing the memorandum trading account, we prepared the statement of actual loss of stock. And there, we first we will take closing stock on the date of fire, which we found in the memorandum trading account. Then we subtracting the value of stock salvage. Uh, this amount we have given in the problem and then the final step we calculate the claim if there is a uh, average clause uh, then we have applying the formula claim is equal to loss of stock into amount of policy upon stock on date of fire if there is not average clause applicable then the amount of claim is equal to loss of stock okay easy right all right so thank you oh. in the next video we will solve some problems and i will show you how to prepare trading account memorandum trading account and the how to calculate claim under average clause so please don't miss the video once again thank you be safe, be healthy.